Hi, and welcome back to Inspired a Game. I'm Sean. And I am Lola. If you like what you see here, please hit the subscribe button down below. And if you've already subscribed, make sure you hit the notification bell so you know when we put up another video. <laughs> Today we are talking about The Shivers, a pop-up mystery adventure game. The Shivers, as it suggests, is a pop-up game. It consists of several different rooms of a spooky old manor. Through these rooms, you'll have little characters that you get to play and solve a mystery. The original game comes with a couple of immersive stories with several episodes, four ep episodes in each story. To run the, run the game, somebody has to play the storyteller, which is pretty much like a game master. What they'll be doing is they'll be slotting into each room that is going to be in that episode a story card. On the front of that story card will be different images that slide into place particular to that story. On the back of that card will be information for them to give out during the game. Some of it they just read straight to the people who are playing the game and some is for their information only that they can reveal as the players ask questions and explore the space. As a pop-up book, it um, each room has different little doors to open, things to look in and explore. The game comes with little micros microscopes, <laughs> little <laughs> magnifying glasses um, for you to look at things closer. And it urges you to also have a flashlight, which does really help with the game as well. Mm -hmm. There are expansions you can buy with that come with some additional rooms as well as additional stories to play. It even has um, blank ones too, if you have the story pack where you can create your own. So it is predominantly a storytelling game. The storyteller has a guide, uh, a guided explanation of each room and what is in each area and each cabinet, just waiting for the player characters to say, oh, I'm gonna open that cabinet and what's in there. Um, and of course, like any other kind of role-playing game, um, your players can take you way off the map and you now have to come up with things keeping in that certain theme and just run with it and just have fun with it. Um, it was a little confusing at first. I was thinking of this more when we first kickstarted it as a puzzle game, kind of like an escape room. And there are certainly puzzles in it, but that is not the reason it exists. Um, so just had to change gears and, and look at it in that, oh, it's, it's, you know, it's a story we're telling together and it's, it's more, a lot more fun that way. Yeah, so if you're looking into this game, I think that's a really important thing to know is this is not like an escape room. This isn't, it does have a little bit of a puzzle to it, but it's really minor. It's very simple. Um, so it does make it more about the adventure and the story you're telling. And as that, it can be as, um, as, as immersive as you want to be. It does encourage you to, even if you want to dress up in, in costume, have some ambiance, play with voices. And um, the more fun you have with it, I think the more fun it can be. Um, the art is obviously really, mm. really beautiful in this. Um, the craftsmanship of the pop, and the craftsmanship of the pop-ups is really remarkable. Uh, it's really fun to play with all the bits. So if you ever have loved pop-up books or miniature things, it's really satisfying to play with. Um, I do have concerns in the long run over some of the doors that you open because they're just made of thin cardboard, kind of like cardstock almost. That I worry about kind of breaking or folding or being wrecked over time uh, you do have to be very very careful with this game it is a very delicate um, obviously because it's made out of paper mm -hmm. um, saying that though it is important to note that you can buy replacement rooms from their website as well so if you have something critical break off and it's not really easy to tape it back on you can buy replacements mm -hmm. And like most of the pop-up books that went through our kids and the, 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 it doesn't have little pull tabs to make things wiggle back and forth. Those are the first things to go. Um, so no worries about those. But it is there are certain windows in the background of each room that as you put the cards in, um, they will reveal different parts of the card. So uh, one of the square cards for one of the smaller rooms, uh, not like this, will have four sides. One for each of the episodes uh, in that in that uh, story pack and it's really kind of neat then when you put it in this way you're seeing you know these paintings and now when you turn it 90 degrees for the second episode well now it's revealing different paintings or different things on the bookshelves and it's really amazing the way they they did that and the construction planning out is uh, really impressive yeah 
So we have played um, three games of this so far. It begins with a tutorial, which is a really nice, uh, effective way to bring you slowly into the game and understanding how it works. Um, from there, we have played two episodes of the first um, first story series one with me as a storyteller and one with Sean as a storyteller so we could both get the feel of each of the sides so playing the front game and playing the back game one thing I liked about it is it was just as much fun playing the storyteller as it was doing the front thing so um, so that's a nice thing it's fun to guide and to help people through the story but it's also fun to do the adventuring um, that said um, I think I think we would enjoy this more if there was more of a puzzle element to it. Um, it really is all about the story and so far with the two, three plays that we've done, it's fairly formulaic. So you go into each room, you um, look in cabinets, you pick up what things that you can because it's probably going to be in useful later on. You mm -hmm. read what notes come out, you go through the rooms, there's going to be some kind of um, bad guy to deal with and then you use what you've gathered to deal with the situation as it comes up so it's really more about that story than it is about solving things mm -hmm. there's not a lot to solve and especially at an adult level i think it could be a really fun thing for kids to play especially because of that uh, but at the same time they have to be old enough that you know that they're not going to be yanking on these doors because um, they're yeah. delicate enough that they could be easily easily broken yeah. yeah and it's uh, like i said it's it's not meant to be a difficult game there are elements within each room that the store storyteller is advised to use so if your players are stuck maybe the telephone rings and a, vo a ghostly voice on the other end says check the cabinet or open the piano or something like that so it's not meant to be it's not meant to stymie you and and keep you scratching your head for for hours on end it's meant to be fun and let's keep the thing going and it kind of feels like uh you're living a scooby-doo mystery it's kind of um not in the way uh, uh, i guess at that level of fear and because it is spooky but it's scooby-doo spooky where it's not like oh i'm gonna have nightmares and it's not like you're playing mansions of madness so yeah. if you play mansions of madness which is also very story-based run by an app um, which also has puzzles throughout. This is um, quite a few tiers down for that as far as complexity and mm -hmm. and such. So if that's what you're looking for, then you're not going to find that here. But if you're looking for um, a fun little adventure game to play with some younger kids or young at heart anyway, um, it's really, really it's really enjoyable going through the different parts and looking in the different rooms. If that sounds like something that you would enjoy, then this might be the game for you. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for watching. And um, if you like what you see, as we said, continue to watch some more as we make them. And happy gaming, folks.